Is hypertension more important than other risk factors such as hyperlipidemia or diabetes? Yes, I think um, the reason the World Health Organization named hypertension as the world's leading risk factor is because it is more important. And there have been some studies uh, that support that. Uh, for example, there have been some uh, cohort studies that show that uh, hypertension in a, a large uh, population of cohort studies um, accounts for 7.3% of preventable uh, mortality, uh, whereas hyperlipidemia accounts in the same study for 0.1%, diabetes for 4.1%, and cigarette smoking by 4.4%. All of those data were in females. Um, similar data are available for males, except that cigarette smoking uh, seemed to, um, to be equal or slightly greater than hypertension uh, in the male population. But in any event, if you, uh, if you aggregate those populations together, hypertension accounts for uh, the largest fraction of preventable uh, mortality. So that's one way of looking at it. And of course, uh, it is preventable. Um, and perhaps you could argue, well, you could argue that all of the things that I mentioned are preventable to a certain extent. Uh, but we certainly can control blood pressure and we can do it in much better fashion um, than we have been. Most of them just need to know they're at high risk, but they can manage that problem on their own. It's good to treat it when it's there, but it is way better to prevent it. It means that they would have to exercise more, have a better diet, a diet that's low in sodium, restrict alcohol, and lower stress. It's a good idea to monitor your blood pressure at home because uh, that's a place where you are um, probably there every single day. Um, it's a way to regularize a, uh, a pattern for checking your blood pressure. But let, let's put this in context. Blood, high blood pressure is the number one risk factor, controllable risk factor for having a stroke. It is also a leading, if not the leading risk factor for having a heart attack. So um, adults ought to know what their blood pressure is and then um, ought to do what needs to be done to bring that blood pressure level to a level that will reduce the risk of bad things happening. And it's not just heart attacks and it's not just strokes. High blood pressure affects your kidneys. High blood pressure affects other parts of your body. Make sure you have a good device. And I mentioned the website, it's a nonprofit. I'm not trying to sell anything. It's validatebp, all one word, dot org. Mm -hmm. Make sure also use good technique. And what is good technique? You need to be resting. No talking, no eating, no smoking. Arms supported at the heart level. So you should be next to a table. Rest for five minutes. Your feet should be on the floor and your back supported. Originally, we actually suggest that you take three blood pressures throughout the first one and average the last two versus just doing one blood pressure and calling it a day. If you take time and you measure blood pressure accurately, you can help your provider, whether it be a doctor, a nurse, or pharmacist, make the diagnosis and make it appropriately. I'm not going to forget medication. Medication is clearly part of the plan, and especially middle-aged and older persons who have significant hypertension will need medicines. There are 125 blood pressure medicines. If one causes side effects or problems, your clinician can offer you something else. But if you have significant hypertension, take your meds.